Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. We are very close to 5000 subscribers and we upload videos on daily basis or at least we try to. Okay. Also, I have a telegram channel which is completely many to many so that everyone can send messages and I am active on that channel. Even several other senior members are there on that uh, on the telegram group. So if you are having issues, doubt or any queries, or if you want any uh, topic on which I should make a video, you can just drop those things in that telegram channel and we will try to address that for you. Okay. So link for that telegram channel will be in the description. You can just uh, uh, join that channel from there. Okay. Okay. Now coming to today's topic. So today we are going to discuss the, uh, like how to get started learning DevOps. So in this video, I will be sharing my ways in what ways, how I started. Okay. Which tools I started learning and in what order I started learning the tools. Okay. Also, I will explain you, I will, I have created a proper documentation for that, whose link will be in the description as well, uh, which will be available on GitHub. So that also you can just follow for like uh, getting started with DevOps. Okay. I will even explain what topics you should study in what order and for how long, uh, like basically how much time you should spend on a specific topic. Okay. So everything I'll be providing you. And if you want to really get started with DevOps, uh, like I have a 30 days of DevOps series which you can follow to get uh, like started with DevOps. Okay. But at the end, it's you who needs to put effort. And if you are putting enough efforts, efforts for learning DevOps, then trust me, DevOps is not so hard. You can easily learn DevOps. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, team. So the things that I'm going to explain you, it's like 30 days of road, uh, roadmap for DevOps plus additional 15 days in case you are like left behind. Uh, if you are like taking some more time for specific topics. Okay. So basically it's like, it will be like 45 days of DevOps, uh, whose everything I will uh, share to you, like in what order, what tools you should study. Okay. Okay. So starting with day one to day four. Okay. So in these four days, what you need to study first day, you learn the DevOps workflow. What exactly is DevOps, uh, and like how it is useful in organizations. Okay. And how you can adapt DevOps in your organization or in your project. Okay. After that, you start with linux fundamentals okay basic linux linux commands uh which whose video which video i have also made okay so that also you can refer uh, additional additional in addition to that you can start uh, start with bash scripting or like uh, shell scripting okay so basically this shell scripting which i am mentioning this you need to do continuously on daily basis because scripting is something that if you leave it for one or two days you will literally forget ha happened with me and that's why i am telling you if you're starting to learn scripting like do it on regular basis then only you will be able to learn it okay so day one to four devops uh, like fundamental uh, devops like basic detailed understanding of devops workflow you should study plus in, in like uh, including three days you should study linux fundamentals plus uh, like uh, important linux commands for devops engineers okay so for uh, linux video you can refer my like uh, date uh, date 20 of 30 days of devops okay okay Coming to the next topic. Okay. So next is three days thing. Okay. Day five to day seven. Okay. So on day five, my suggestion go for Git, Git, which is used for version control system because like it is also very important, but usually in DevOps, we use like very few commands. Okay. Uh, seven to eight commands of Git are there, which, which is like used on uh, repetition. Okay. So on day five, you should go with Git. Okay. And uh, day six and seven, you should study uh, build to building tools. Okay. So in my opinion, like I usually have experience on uh, two building tools, which is Maven and Node.js. So Maven, my, uh, my suggestion is in one day, basically you can finish Maven. If you understand the life cycle of Maven. Okay. And Node.js, keep it as a primary skill for building tool. Okay. Just understand basics of Node.js, how we use Node.js for building applications. Okay. So uh, like uh, day five, Git. Day six and day seven, you should work with Maven and Node.js. Okay. These also videos I have made also already in 30 days of DevOps, which you can refer in, uh, in addition to that, uh, documentation also I have pre uh, prepared so that also you can refer. Okay. In Maven, mainly you should focus on Maven lifecycle, understanding what each command is used for. Okay. Once you understand that, then trust me, uh, like st you start implementation and then you will be understand how building tool works. Okay. But also like one more thing that you should definitely put in your mind is key two things. Okay. Two things mainly you should focus first hands on implementation of whatever you are learning. Secondly, troubleshooting. Okay. Troubleshooting is an amazing way to learn DevOps. Okay. 
maybe it sounds like a little bit weird but trust me like uh, most of things that i know i started learning through troubleshooting because once you start get started with troubleshooting you go deep and deep and you understand like different issues different kind of issues and for that reason uh, trust me you will learn a lot of things okay so like day 5 6 7 git plus maven plus node js okay focus on maven node js little bit like how to build okay okay so next up we have day 8 to day 11 okay this will be this four days you will learn with ci cd tools okay and since if you are getting started with devops then first ci cd tool that you should focus on is jenkins okay so you should first initial like one or two days you should learn jenkins then quickly uh, like uh, start with hands on implementation setting up jenkins and like start creating <coughs> uh, start creating the pipelines okay so these four days what you will do study jenkins little bit uh, like theoretical little bit what exactly is jenkins what it is used for quickly st- get started with the hands on plus uh, one more tool that should you, sh- you can easily cover in these four days is sonar cube sonar cube is a really important tool in the world of devops okay so that these videos also i have already made in 30 days of uh, devops playlist you, which you can find so this like four days you can easily cover uh, jenkins pipeline basics of jenkins pipeline creating pipelines writing pipelines plus integration of w- very two easy tools one is git second is sonar cube okay these things you can cover easily in four days okay 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 so next up we have day 12 and day 13 okay so in two days i would suggest you you study two things okay first is release management or basically an artifact management i would say ki there is a tool like uh, different tools are available like nexus or artifact uh, artifactory my suggestion go with uh, nexus for now okay understand how it works uh, and uh, like uh, uh, how to use it basically how to integrate with jenkins so this part if you are if you are having enough time in one day you can easily cover okay so once you cover it a uh, like integration with jenkins and all next day you can work with the uh, security tool which is known as os dependency check as you already know at this point of time uh, like learning uh, devops plus security it is like very very is it's going to be really useful for you okay so learning uh, devsecops instead of devops is really useful so i uh, my suggestion focus on learning multiple security tools okay so in two days you can cover okay see the days that i am telling you two, two days three days four days like that it's not key you should stick to that only two days i need to cover see extra 30 plus 15 days i am telling you ki keep extra if you are like feeling ki uh, less number of days i am having add one or two days from those 15 days and take how much time it takes okay maximum in my opinion maximum it will take around like 45 days if you are learning from yourself okay okay next we have day 14 to day 16 3 days 14 15 16 my in my opinion 3 days is more than enough for a tool known as docker which is a containerization tool and uh, in these three days you should understand like understand a hands on implementation of docker what exactly is docker how it is used okay concept of docker image docker file docker container okay then you should learn uh, integrating docker with jenkins and then you should start like building docker images uh, pushing to repository three days more than enough trust me so f- uh, in three days you should focus on docker okay this all this video also i have made see every single thing that i am explaining here i have already made a video on that okay if you are like if you are really uh, interested in putting effort everything i have put uh, up on like youtube for free if you are interested just go there start learning one topic at, at a day that will be more than enough i am just giving you devops complete devops road map okay okay so next is very interesting actually uh, if you are learning devops my suggestion at least learn one cloud platform or one cloud devops thing okay uh, since i have worked with azure and it i have worked with azure as well as aws also and devops part i try to do with both and in my opinion azure devops is much easier as compared to devops when you are trying with aws okay so my suggestion like cloud devops you should learn and for me it's like day 21 to day 24 i have assigned 3 days 21 22 20 sorry 4 days 24 okay 
So in four days, what you can do, you can learn how to like basically set up a basic Azure DevOps platform, how to get started writing pipelines. Everything I have made, actually a full fully video I have made. If you just need to, you can just watch it and start implementations. You will learn. It's not so hard. In reality, I'm telling you, it's not so hard. Okay. At this point, everything I have created for free. But see, if you need a proper dedicated support from me, if uh, since like uh, as, as I have as I have told you already, okay, in August mid I will be starting with my own course. That that will be a paid course because like there will be lots of uh, hard work is included in that. Plus, uh, like uh, lots of resources will be shared to you. In addition to that, a dedicated support will be there from my end, and I will be teaching everything on live sessions. And every day, or at least we try to uh, keep. Uh, almost every day, at least 15 to 20 minutes of a doubt session on every class. Okay, so basic things. If you are facing issues, we can just uh, we can just cover it there. In addition to that, whatever things we study in live session, recordings of that also will be available to you. So it's like everything will be sorted. Okay, but eventually at the end, as I always say, it's you who needs to put effort. And if you are not putting effort, then there is no point in like learning DevOps or anything. Okay, even I cannot teach in that situation because. You need to put effort, okay? So day like initial day twenty four, day twenty one to day twenty four, focus on learning uh, like uh, any cloud DevOps. My suggestion: go for Azure DevOps, much easier and it's like uh, uh, much easier to do. Plus, like uh, it is in very much in requirement outside also. Even in my current project, I work mainly with Azure DevOps. Okay, I create pipelines and all those things. Okay, so I have a really good experience on Azure DevOps. My suggestion: go with Azure DevOps. But if you are Interested in AWS? That also you can get started with. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have day twenty-five to day twenty-nine. Okay, where my suggestion is to learn, uh, get started with IAC, which is Infrastructure as Code. There are so many tools in the market, but trust me, only two tools you need to learn. One is Terraform for provisioning resources, and second is Ansible. Okay, for automating things like deploy, deploy, op, deployment of an application on multiple servers or like setting up uh, uh, like. Uh, Installing multiple tools or updating tools on multiple servers using Ansible script. Okay, so this will take around like twenty-five to twenty-nine. Uh, in one or two days, you can cover uh, Terraform, and next two days you can cover Ansible. Okay, see when I say days, now it's like whole day you need when you are going to put efforts. You are going to need whole day. So uh, in that way only you can learn. Okay, but depends if you are having enough time, then you should put efforts. If not, then uh, I could not say anything. Okay. But my suggestion, since obviously you need to learn DevOps, so make sure to put efforts. Okay. Okay. So finally, we have day thirty, third day thirty to day thirty one, where my suggestion get started with website monitoring or like your application monitoring. There are tools like Prometheus, Grafana, so you can get started with that. Okay. Basic tutorial on Grafana, how to use Grafana, how to set it up, I have made. You can just check out my uh, YouTube videos where you will find a video on Grafana as well. Okay. So these thirty days I have sh like thirty or thirty one days I have shared with you. In addition to that, make sure to keep like fifteen days extra because if uh, any topic is taking taking too much time and if you are not able to like uh, properly work with that, then take few days from this fifteen extra days and then you can work with that. Okay. Also, just like giving you a little bit highlights on the my course which will be launching after in uh, like a mid of August. What I am going to teach you is DevOps. Cloud DevOps, resume building for freshers, resume building for experienced, plus corporate project explanation. I'll be doing like how basically uh, uh, employees work on projects on corporate level. Okay, since at, at this point I have I uh, worked with multiple corporate projects, I will explain you how basically how like what is the culture of that. Okay, how projects are maintained, how projects are made in corporate level. Those things I'll be explaining you. So that is really going to be useful. Why that is going to be useful? Because several of like uh, uh, subscribers or several people are trying to switch to DevOps. Okay, so at this point, see uh, if you have enough knowledge in DevOps, you can get hired easily. But if you are not having, if you are having just like uh, if you are trying to switch, you need to show them at least ki, okay, I am having two years or three years of experience. So that experience partner, I can explain you ki how corporate projects work because that's what they are looking for. In interviews, they will ask you in general ki have you worked or not. Okay, so few projects I can explain you uh, in deep how like how we work on uh, pro pro projects on corporate level, how how many environments are there, what is the branching strategy uh, strategy on corporate level. Those things I can explain you. But as I mentioned, since this syllabus uh, syllabus is going to be good, uh, very big actually. Okay, 
I don't know if I told you, but I'll be covering this multiple security tools. In addition to that, I'll be covering like uh, cloud DevOps also. And everything that I'm I'll be covering in my course, it will be from scratch. So it doesn't matter if you are a fresher, if you are a college student, if you are someone trying to switch to DevOps or anything, you can watch the video. You can like easily learn things. Okay, everything I'll be uh, and all obviously like since it's a paid course, so I'll be providing a dedicated support. Okay. So let's see how it goes. Okay. But uh, in addition to that, uh, I have just shared you with everything that is required. In addition to that, one more thing like this, whatever I explained you now, I have already created a documentation that is on my GitHub repository, complete DevOps roadmap. Okay. I would request you to check out that repository and like maybe if you want, you can just fork it, give it stars and something so that it could reach out to more people. Okay. But you can get started with DevOps using that roadmap. Okay. It is more than enough at this point. Okay. So yeah. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. So yeah. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.